hi guys uh, back with another video from the website genie and uh, in this video we're going to talk about woocommerce customizations so uh, so once you have installed woocommerce and you have added some products you get to see the woocommerce default layouts all over your website so we are going to talk about how to customize these layouts so bear in mind that we can customize only uh, the front page layout or the product layout that you have on the home page so this is a featured product section so this is how woocommerce would show you the featured products so yeah it's pretty boring so we are going to do something about it and we will try to uh, customize this layout so that it looks a bit uh, appealing to your customers so we can also try to edit the product uh, page layout so we will see how we can do that but uh, so the uh, the plugin we're going to use that's a free version plugin and that plugin will only allow you to edit uh, the the product layout section so the paid version of the plugin has an inbuilt uh, product layout customizer but uh, we are not going to use the paid version but in the free version itself we will try to see how we can edit the product page uh, to at least make it a little bit more better so uh, having said that we'll first discuss what are the required things for this to work so we'll go back to the wordpress dashboard so make sure that you have woocommerce installed and you have added at least one product so uh, the plugin we're going to use is woolenter so it's uh, it works with woocommerce and elementor and hence the name woolenter so as i said there is a free version and there is a paid version so we will use only the free version so we'll do a quick search for woolenter and uh, so once you have searched for woolenter the first plugin that comes up is woolenter so it has four uh, you know 74 star ratings 50000 plus active installations it was updated a week ago and it is compatible with my version of wordpress so i have already installed and activated the plugin so you can go ahead and install and activate the plugin now and guys just a heads up before installing plugins uh, make sure you are aware about the plugin because if you're not it's best to take a backup of your website so that even if something goes wrong you can always get your original site back so it's best to take a backup so once you've installed and activated woolenter you can come to the woolenter dashboard so just click on woolenter and uh, so Woolenter provides you these features. So this is Woolenter free, which we are currently using. So as you can see, we cannot edit the single product individual layout. So that is the product page. We cannot edit the cart page or the checkout page or thank you or my account pages. So all these are available in the pro version. So we can only edit the shop page and the custom product layout page and the single product template builder so we can do all these things we have 18 elements whereas the pro version has 41 elements so we'll concentrate on the free version and we'll also see how we can edit the product page at least to some extent and for the cart page and checkout page we'll use another plugin that is cart flows so we'll discuss about cart flows in a separate video and we can edit the cart page checkout page adding a thank you page after a customer has made a purchase all those for free okay uh, so once you have installed and activate woolenter we'll go to our elementor home so this is the elementor home and uh, this is what we see currently so we'll go to the dashboard or the back end of the home page so this is what we have currently so we'll just get rid of this first we do not want this and then we'll uh, click this small arrow to get rid of the basic widgets of elementor pro widgets of elementor the general widgets will get rid of header footer and blocks element as well so now we have the woolenter add-ons so this is what we will use to make the site a bit more attractive and appealing to the customers so the first thing that i'll show you is the universal product layout so there are many features over here but we'll concentrate on only few because the few that i will be talking about are the ones that you can use to edit your product layouts so there are many different ways you can customize uh, the pages of woocommerce so we'll discuss only on the features that helps you to customize the layout of your products so we'll first apply the universal product layout so you can apply it here so as you can see currently we have a default layout so we have slider and tab so obviously for the slider you have it would be sliding 
and for the query settings so this is the query setting this is where the products are fetched from so we have recent products so in the last video we had added a microwave and a fridge so we did not uh, we didn't give any images to that so we'll pick only the random products so we have some random products here and the product limit is set at three so we can set the product limit at four and uh, so one more thing this product categories you can add the product categories and in the filter by section you can also add each individual product by an id so if you do not know how to show how to get the id of a product you just need to go to products all products and uh, so if you see that the product has an id so if you just hover over the you know product you can see that there is an id this is 2694 the doctor's chamber has id of 2677 so these are the ids so you can put individual ids to create the products here so we'll stick with this and we have a product limit of four and if you see the layout we have slider so we'll change it to tab we'll see how that looks so tabs so this is tab layout but i think we'll stick to the default this was much better and so we have default here columns are three so we'll make four columns and we'll also add a bit of a padding to this section so we'll just add about uh, 25 padding and so as you can see now it already looks a lot better than the you know previous layout that we had so this is the previous layout we haven't yet updated it so this is the previous layout and this is what it currently looks like so we'll get rid of this fridge and microwave because they do not have an image so after that you can so the content settings so as you can see we have some content here accessories light brown purse so this is the product and this is the you know uh, title of your product so we'll hide the category first we do not need the category ratings are not given so ratings are okay price will show and for the action so this is style one so i haven't seen any major difference between the content styles so if you put in style two it uh, or the style three so there is not much of a change with the different styles uh, with the content settings at least so we'll change the action button settings so these are your action buttons there's a quick view button and there's an add to cart button so this if you change it to style two you'll see that now we have a small little rectangle above this and bear in mind that these are all changeable so you can change the colors and everything of this and you can also change the alignment so you can make it bottom aligned or and you can also make the content bottom so you can go to the content bottom so below the content you can also show and you can also add to cart button text so instead of this bag icon you can add a add to cart button text so we'll keep it just at bottom bottom of the image and there's a style 3 also so that's a rounded uh, thing so i think this looks much better and for the image settings so this is single image if you had a gallery for this products so you can also have a gallery tab or an image slider so that those are all changeable and if you go to the style tab so you can change what these colors would be so in the content area so this is the background color of the content so what we'll do is we'll give it a black color and this is the product badge badge color so if you had a sale product that would have a badge the color of the badge you can change that so the product category we have already deleted the category so we won't make any changes so in the product title we'll make the title color white and the title hover color so this is the hover color that looks nice so there's no issue with changes uh, changing that and the sale price color is black so we'll change it to white and the regular price color is black so we'll also change that to white and the ratings are not required because we do not have any ratings here so now comes the action button style so this is your action button and if you if you see the tooltip color is white so we can change that to black so this is your tool uh, tooltip so this i believe was uh, white was better so we have add to cart right over here the background type you have a background type 
and the color in the normal it's a black so this is your black color and in the hover section you have a golden color but we'll change the background type and we'll change the background type to black you have a background type here as well so this is your background color so we'll get rid of that because that doesn't look nice so we are trying to change the background of this white background so let's see if you can change that so i don't think we can change the background of this yes we can change it so uh, in order to change the background of this uh, you know boxes so you just go to the background type and change the color and now we can change these as well so we will take it so in the normal mode we'll keep it at white and in the hover this is perfect and for this color the tooltip color will make it black and the background color will make it white so that way you can see that now so this looks much better if you ask me guys so as you can see so this is what it looks like now but uh, since this 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 uh, title is too big so that is why it is not in align with the other you know boxes so we'll try to do something about it so we'll just see if the title uh, size can be changed so we'll just go to style and for the title product title we'll go to typography and we'll in decrease the size a bit we'll keep it at 15 and we'll see how that looks so now as you can see it's all in aligned and we'll decrease the size of the uh, you know prices as well so we'll go down to price product price and for the typography so we'll change the regular price because there is no sale item here so we'll just keep it at uh, 16 15 rather so the sale price i believe that has to be changed as well so we'll keep it at 16 so i think now it looks much better than your this layout so it's much bigger and you have quick view options right above so a person doesn't have to click on the product and go to the product page to view so you can obviously click on this and get a quick view and these are all interchange these are all changeable so you can match it with your theme or you can match it with your product color say for example this is this is a golden colored bag so you can have a golden colored background here if it's a blue colored t-shirt you can have a blue t-shirt background blue colored background over here so all these can be changed or customized according to what your theme uh looks or the color of your theme is or according to your product so that's the easy way of customizing the featured product section so there is another thing that i would like to show you so this is a featured product so we'll again just get rid of this or maybe we'll let that stay so we can add another one right here so i'll show you another thing which i really liked about this plugin so you have a category list so if you had images for categories so we'll just add it here so columns uh, will make it four so so this is not the one that i was talking about so i'll show you one more thing which i really liked about this plugin so we'll see the category list yeah so uh, so we'll i'll show you one more thing so this is another thing which i really liked uh, this is the category grid so if you had images for each category just like you have for the men's one so person can click on the click on the men's category and he can directly go to the men's category page so uh, the the order in which you provide the images is just like this so you go to product you go to categories and uh, so you have different categories which are already made for you 
so you can also add categories so as you can see this is the men's category so in order to give an image say for for the accessories um, category you want to give an image so you can just click on edit and once you're in the accessories section you can add a thumbnail here so I'll just click and add a thumbnail just to uh, show you how it looks in the home page so we'll just provide a uh, accessory say for example we'll provide this we'll use this image and we'll update this so now if you get rid of this the category grid and if you again add the category grid so now as you can see we have accessories appointment it doesn't have any image to the category men's so these uh, the way the hover animation can be changed using this style so there's a style one is a style two so this is again really good so and these are all you know customizable so you can change the color of this as well so you have style 3 as you can see men's accessories if you had an image for men's shoes it would come up here if you had a uh, you know image for shoes it would come up here we have style 4 so this is style 4 there's another style that is style 5 so this is a bit uh, this is circular on you know, a circular so this is again another great way of showcasing whatever categories you have so this is another thing which i really liked about this plugin so i've deleted that so i'll show you another thing so uh so this is uh, the our product archive layout it's much like this one which we did earlier but uh so this this is just like the woocommerce layout but it shows you you know whatever products you have in order either you can order by date or title or price popularity so you can do all these things and you can order by ascending or descending and you can change the columns and rows as well so this is already available uh, the view of it is already available in WooCommerce itself so we'll try something else we'll do this uh, we'll do the product curve this this is again what I liked something I really enjoyed uh, so this is product curvy so you have style you have different styles so you can make you can give it style too and you have two columns and the query settings you can either show by ID just like the previous one so we'll just show uh, by ran we we'll just show random products here and as you can see this is a nice little curved uh, you know circle and you have the image of your product and you can directly click on the buy button and there is a, a review button here so all the reviews that the product has got would be available here the price is shown this is just a short description which is again you can change that so in the content settings you can hide the title you can hide the content you can hide the price so i'll just hide the rating so we don't need the rating so this is again another great way of showcasing your products in the home page so uh, i'll just check the layout for so there's another style so this is uh, style 3 so I'll change I'll just see how it looks so this is how it looks so you can change it you can change all these colors but I'll stick to style 2 I think style 2 looked better I think this looks better and I'll just change the style so you have so uh, so we'll have to do some trial and error with this so we'll have to check which color changes what so we'll first check if this background color does anything so this is this background color so we won't change that so the product title is there it's okay product uh, title color title hover product price regular price and everything content so we'll check the action button so you have a background type here let's see if that does anything yeah so this would change this background color so we'll make it if you make it white i think that looks good and uh, so the uh, color is white and for hover you also have white but for hover i think we'll make it 
that we'll try to give that golden color so this is the color so i think this looks much better guys than your normal you know woocommerce layout that you have or the normal woocommerce you know uh, so you can change the icon for this as well so we can give uh, any other icon so we'll try to give so we'll give the shopping bag icon so as you can see now we have the shopping bag icon so we just uh, get rid of this elementary panel so this is how it looks so i think this looks much better than your normal you know woocommerce layout and you can directly click on this to go to add this product to cart so we'll update this and we'll see how it looks on the live page but before that there's another thing which this plugin does and uh, so so this again is something which i really liked so you can add this so this is a product uh, image accordion so you for the recent products you can change it to the featured products so this is the featured products so as you can see uh, so this is custom order content settings this is your buy button that's all okay so we'll hide the rating because none of our products have any ratings so in the style tab we'll see what if there is anything that can be changed so i think this looks good so we won't change so as you can see this is your uh, product image accordion so you can directly click on buy and you can go to your uh, you know add to cart button so this is your actually add to cart button so it, when you click on this it uh, adds the product to your cart so we'll see that in action so for the margin so for the padding actually i think we'll give some padding over here so if you uh, click on the pencil icon go to advanced the padding will probably add a padding of 25 or maybe 35 so now as you can see uh, we have a padding of 35 so we'll see if this accordion images so actually we'll make another item featured go to all products so you have four items here which are featured so what that does is that leaves some sort of gap in the right hand side so we'll just make another product featured so we'll add this uh, blue t-shirt we'll make it featured so now we'll try to add this plugin uh, add this image according again so we'll get rid of this and we'll add the product image accordion again change it to featured products and in the advanced section we'll give a padding of 25 this time so now if you see I think I, th I think we have made uh, four we, we, we have asked the plugin to show only four so as you can see we have only a limit of four products that is why uh, even if you make five featured products it's not showing up so we'll add five here so now as you can see we have five products so that is a product image accordion for you so you can directly click on this so we'll also keep this and we'll add one last thing which I liked about the plugin. So this is a product accordion. So maybe we'll just give some space and we'll add it at the bottom. So we'll add the product accordion here. So as you can see, this is the product accordion and for the query settings, we'll give again featured products and the product limit will make it five. And for the content settings, so we have this is the buy button icon spacing you can just increase or decrease the icon spacing content you can hide content limit is 15 so this would uh, limit your content of 15 prices will keep will hide the rating and for the style again uh, so this is a gradient style so we can change that so we we'll go to action button style so no that would change the action button 
so we'll see if the background type is gradient so we'll give it the first color will give it uh, you know we'll give a color like you know like that the second color will give something I will give any color so the point of the tutorial is just to make you understand that uh, so you can change all these things so it doesn't matter what color I give so it's just that you can change all this uh, stuff according to your requirements according to whatever theme you're using or according to whatever product you're using so this is the product accordion and this is again something which I really like so again guys this is everything is changeable so I don't know if I'm able to show you all the things but uh, i've tried it with this plugin and everything even this even the small icon the arrow that you see over here that is changeable so this is a collapse icon color so you can just change that to any color you want so we have a white background so we can easily change that to black and the collapse background even you can change that to any color you want so we'll give that a darker gray so everything is customizable according to your requirement so, so you close that and you open that so this is a great way again of uh, you know showcasing your products so we'll update all this and we'll see how that looks in the home page because we have made a mess of the home page but we have got to understand whatever features the plugin has so the first thing this is something which I really liked about uh, you know above all the other things so this is a great way of showcasing whatever products you have so you can just click on quick view and it will show you the product you do not even have to go to the product page and if you had gallery images it would show up right below the main image so you can add that to cart directly from here and uh, after that you have this curvy image so this is again great so you can click on the product and that would take you to the product page and if you click on the buy button it would directly add your product to cart and after that you have the image accordion so again this is uh, great but uh, this makes good use if you have different types of products so if this is a shoe this is a bangle and this is a shirt and this is a bag and this is another bag so if you have two bags together it doesn't make that much of a difference because the person has a very short amount of uh, you know place to see so if this is a bag and this is another bag it makes it difficult for the customer to see but if this is a shoe and this is another different item then this makes a lot of sense so again you can directly buy from here we forgot to hide the ratings so guys when you're first starting a website or you're first starting your e-commerce uh, platform it's best to hide the reviews because uh, obviously once you start in the worst in, in the first very month or the first six months you won't have that many ratings to showcase to your customers so it's best that you hide the ratings for now and once you have accumulated some amount of ratings you can go ahead and uh, you know again show the ratings to your customers after that we had one more thing so this is a product accordion so again this is a product so you can showcase your products you can directly click the buy button here to take you to the uh, you know buy page or the cart page rather so i'll just click on buy here so as you can see if i've clicked on buy there's a small right sign so that means i it has been added to cart so if i click this it would take me to the cart page and in the cart page you can see that i've already added this product is already added so i had already added few other things so this is already added in the cart so that is how you can change your woocommerce uh, home page layout or the product layout so now we'll see something which uh, it's not given in the free version of element free version of wool enter rather so this is a paid feature so we'll try to edit the single page layout so we'll get rid of the elementor home and the cart page so this is a test page which i have created so guys if you want to create something like this a overlapping column or you want to create a footer or a customized header you can check out some other videos in the channel okay uh, so we'll uh, now discuss on how we can edit the single product image page but uh, bear in mind that this is this will take some time and you will have to do some uh, you know hard work in order to create the product page because there is no theme for that the plugin doesn't offer that template so uh, we're using the free version so <clears throat> what we can do is we can take any uh, any of the you know the product layouts you have seen currently 
and we can add only one product we can add that product by id and then you need to mention the product images and you need to put in the product description the rates and then you need to add a button for uh, you know adding to cart so it would need some hard work from your end so i'll show you one product so we'll take the we'll take the product layout product uh, we'll take this universal product layout we'll add that here only and the layout is default is okay so columns will make it one query settings will add uh, will add id manually so the id that we're going to add is for sports shoes it's 2652 so we'll add the product id as 2652 and for the product limit we'll make it one so now if you remove this so that would make the product appear huge so what we'll do is we'll uh, increase the columns uh, we'll increase the columns to three query settings product limit will make it three again so that we can reduce the size so as you can see we'll reduce the size but we'll do it uh, another way so we'll get rid of this so we'll add we'll duplicate this column and here we'll add the universal layout and for the query settings we'll add id manually and we'll add 2652 and here we'll uh, change the query because we'll change the columns rather so we'll make it two columns and for the product limit we'll make it uh, two so that would make this a bit bigger and here we'll get rid of so we'll just so make it a bit bigger okay and so for the content settings content uh, it's okay so i'll hide the price we will keep the price but we'll hide the category and the rating action button settings uh, will make it style 2 or we'll make it style 3 rather and this will place it at the bo bottom of the image and uh, so that is okay so now what we'll do so you can uh, customize this according to whatever you feel like so what you can do is you can add uh you know a description widget so we'll look for basics so we'll take the text with widget here and you can add your product description and after you added the product description you can add a heading to your product uh, the name of your product you can put it up here and so you can add certain more uh, variations to it you can probably add another product so that is how we would edit a product page but editing product pages single product pages are very difficult if you do not have the template with you because that would it's not difficult actually but that would mean uh, you have to spend some time to get the actual result that you want along with you have to change the padding so probably you'll have to uh, edit the padding here you'll have to change the padding for this so you can easily make this uh, so we'll so we'll change this first so we'll go to advanced and the positioning the position will make it uh, absolute and for the offset we'll bring it closer to this for the vertical reduction will again bring it closer to this so now as you can see you have the description closer to your uh, this thing the image and for the heading again we'll go to advanced we'll go to positioning and for the position we'll make it absolute and for the offset we'll bring it closer and we'll bring it down a bit and uh, once you go to your content section 
make it center aligned so now as you can see so this is a better way of uh, you know putting in your products your single products rather the product page and you can add images as you want you can add videos as you want related to the product but this again is uh, difficult to manage if you have 30 or maybe 40 products so editing 40 different pages is a bit difficult but having said that this is a great way of uh, making something unique so whatever so there are like 5 million sites on the planet that run WooCommerce so if you have something unique on your site of you or if you have something which uh, is different than the uh, default version that you get with WooCommerce that I believe would increase your chances of conversion that I believe would increase your chances of traffic of people staying on your website and making a purchase so we'll update this we'll see how that looks so now what you have is this one so you have uh, your description and your product and everything is here along with that you have a add to cart button i think the home page editing and the product layout for your home page is great with this plugin so you can add different layouts of your products so uh, so this is a great layout along with this and this is also good but then again i said you, you need to have different products here not same type of products and uh, so this is also good you just need to change the background color so this is a uh, you know like it's it's one of the worst background colors but then uh, this is just for tutorial purposes so you can make it according to your theme or according to your uh, you know the product you're selling or anything that you want any color you want so that can be edited and that can be changed according to your wish so guys that is Enter, and that is how you edit WooCommerce pages this is a very important topic because as I said there are 5 million plus you know, WooCommerce sites on the planet so it's very important that you showcase something to your customers or you, uh, you know, show something to the customers which is unique or which is different than any other you know, site that they, see, they have seen on the plan uh, you know that, that they have seen so so you can go ahead and try your hand on uh, creating a good WooCommerce site. So guys, if you have learned something from this video or you have taken something from this video that you would utilize in your WordPress website project, please consider giving a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. It's a humble request and that would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much guys and I'll see you again in the next tutorial video.